Hey there and welcome back. Now in this part I am going to discuss JList, Java JList which is another GUI component. So in this uh, JList it is used to represent a list of text items. The list of text items can be set up so that the user can choose either one item or a multiple items from them. It is also inherited from our J component classes. As you can see on my screen this is a sample output how it would look after I am going to execute it, this J list, item 1, item 2, item 3, item 4, so on like things. So to make a application like that, so without wasting time, I am going to make this application. For it, just open up your notepad and import Java X dot swing dot asterisk then semicolon then write public class list example open curly braces now write list example this is a constructor now inside it I'm just going to create an instance for my frame as I did in my previous videos now after creating an instance for my frame just write default list model and typecast into string l1 equal to new default list model this is a syntax which you have to use uh, to implement this list example now add this into frame before adding this list just add the elements like l1.addElement item 1 l1.element item 2 l1.addElement item 3 and similarly like that you can it's, it's up to you that how much element you wanted to add it add into your list once you added the all the elements into the list you have to add this list into a frame so that when you execute this program uh, an application will be formed in application frame will be there inside frame this list must be there so here I added up to item 4 okay now I'm going to jlist string list equal to new list album now write list dot set bond dates uh, 100 comma 100 comma 75 75 this is my height and width 75 and 100 and 100 is my sy locations where this list will be located in my application now i added this list into my frame now set the size of frame if you wanted set the layout of your frame if you wanted if you want to set the visibility you have to write true okay so in this manner I created a simple list where I use the add element keyword to add the items 1 2 and 3 and 4 into it and using default list model then created a jlist string list equal to new jlist l1 now write publish static void main string ARGS this is the main method of our program from where all the things begins here I'm just going to create an object for my class list example for it just write new list example okay now close all the curly braces after closing it just save this file with the name of your class name I paste it here dot java with an extension all files these are all the files which I have created previously now open the let me copy this directory so that I can easily 
move to that location I'm using CT command CT dot dot 3d dot dot now jump into e drive right cd and paste that directory i'm now in the dead directory where all the files are saved now here i'm going to write java c list example dot java now after doing it so just write java list example just move the upper right uh, arrow button this is my item 1, item 2, item 3, item 4 you can select one of them it's up to you how you can use them item 1, item 2, item 3, item 4 click on here, click here, click here ok different options are there now this is all about list